Hi, Cancer. It's with a reading for the sign of Cancer. Um, Cancer, this will be a free form style of reading where I put a few cards out on the table and then I dig deeper into those cards and see what we can find as we dig deeper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and begin now. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Cancer strongly in their chart. Um, I am going to be, um, I have, I am working on my skills. I'm working on my energy flow. And so you will um, possibly um, hear and see a difference in my work. And um, I'm, I'm excited to bring this part of me forward. I'm excited to be here. Uh, I hope that all of you are. And I look forward to the messages coming out today for you, Cancer. So um, let's go ahead and begin. Current energy for the sign of Cancer. Current energy. Cancer, I am going out into the next 7 to 10 days, maybe even to, into the next couple of weeks. So this is a short-term reading. And in the extended, I will take this out several months two to three months, and we'll look at the people who are around you, go into the energies around them, and go into their perspective of you, Cancer. So uh, we, we have quite a bit to do in both the general and in the extended reading. All right, let's get started. Current energies, current energies for the sign of Cancer. Current energies. One more here. Let's see what we have. Cancer, this, I just got done doing Scorpio. Um, about an hour ago, I did the Scorpio reading. Um, and that reading was very intense. It was a very intense reading. Um, this reading has a different feel to it, Cancer. So there's, there's a little bit of a different feel in your energy. Thank goodness, because Scorpio's was quite intense. Scorpio has, um, they, they have a way of being able to go quite deep in the emotions. Um, this is a little bit lighter, Cancer. And, um, it's, it's quite exciting, um, honestly, to be in this energy. Uh, we, you begin with the world. Um, next to the world is the Ace of Swords. Next to that is the Fool. And next to that is the Page of Pentacles. So um, there's definitely something new here that you're experiencing in this upcoming period of time. Um, let's start with the world now and, and really go into this. There is a new beginning. And we know with the world energy, um, when there's new beginnings, there's usually endings. Well, there's always some sort of ending when you move into something new. Now, it doesn't always have to be like walking through a new doorway, Cancer. It can be just experiencing the world around you in a new way, experiencing your work in a new way, experiencing a relationship in a new way, where the horizons are expanding. You're seeing a bigger perspective of what this can be. Um, you're seeing how you you even could be even seeing how it could be moving out into the future. So it's an expanded viewpoint. It's exciting. Um, it has an energy of um, even enthusiasm, but it has an expanding kind of energy. It's an expanding opening up kind of energy. Um, the world energy can come with a little apprehension as well, because whenever we step into something that feels new and big, um, yes, it's like heading off on vacation um, or, or getting on an airplane or setting off on t into a boat into the sea. There's always an energy of excitement, but there's always apprehension or there's usually some sort of apprehension um, or a little bit of anxiety about what's to come. So the world energy is not always just full of enthusiasm and excitement. It can have some energies within it that are a tug and a push and pull of um, optimism and then hesitation and excitement and a little bit of worry. So it can be a mixed bag as far as, as, far as the energy goes. But on the whole, it's a very expansive um, energy that, that has you feeling invigorated, right? Alive and invigorated. Something has come in here and it has, it's like there's an invigoration in this energy. Now the Ace of Swords is here and, and this, this energy, when I, when I go a little bit deeper into this energy, and um, we do see that there is a realization here. Right. There is a realization here. There is something that no longer can be denied. There's something that is, is there's a finality. Right. It's it, the Ace of Swords brings. It's a foot stomp. Right. It's a gavel on the judge's desk. Right. It's a. Um, it's a finality to something. It, it brings your attention to it. It. it it highlights a point of view, right? It can be a thought system. It can be a new understanding. It can be a decision that you make. It could be a truth coming forward that 
Like you can no longer deny, but there's something here that the mind has determined to be a new fact of life, a new fact of life or a new realization in life. Um, it is, it is, it does carry a promising energy with it. Uh, because it is next to the world and it's next to the fool. So there's something here that is expansive and promising and um, it's it's a, a, a blossoming energy. It's something that's growing in strength, growing in intensity and moving you forward into something new here with the fool. Now the fool energy, of course, can be a nervous energy. It, it's an energy where you're stepping forward and you're not really sure how stable your walkway is going to be, right? You're not really sure... Um, if the boards on your walkway are going to be rotten or if they're going to be they're going to be solid wood, right? How old is this structure that you're walking on? Or has it been newly built and hasn't been built correctly? Right? There's a nervousness here. And and I've been shown like stepping onto a walkway, stepping onto a pathway. That's what I'm seeing in my mind. Some of you could be stepping onto pathways that are like hanging bridges that kind of wobble as you walk, you know, you kind of you're trying to find the railing that you can hand, hang on to so that you don't fall over. It's that kind of a feeling, stepping forward onto something and not really sure how stable the foundation of whatever it is that you're walking on is. You might be feeling slightly, because you are the chariot energy, you do like that balance within yourself. You like to have balance within yourself. And you have, and you like to have balance in the environment around you. That's when you can be the most powerful. And so when you're starting something new, yes, it can be exciting. It can be something that really livens you, but it can also be something that is, um, nerve wracking, right? It's, it's nerve wracking. And again, you are always an energy of balance. So as much as you're feeling excitement and enthusiasm, that's as much as you're feeling this nerve wracking energy. That's how, you know, the, the cancer people are, they're, they're usually balanced. So they, they can be contradictory inside themselves and that can be hard for cancer people. That's why they're usually trying to find that stability. We do see here the page of pentacles. So there are messages coming forward to you. Uh, there are indications of success here that really help you see how this could be a stable decision for yourself because, um, you are looking for stability in all of it you are looking for stability. I think that's why I'm being seen these pathways. You are looking for structure. You're looking for stability. You're looking for safety in your life, whether it's financially or within a relationship or, or within a community or with, even within a family, you're looking for that stability. And I think you're seeing indications of it here. Um, and I think that's why you're, you're being, you're, you're more willing to move forward into this new path or into this new calling that you have with the full energy. So let's go ahead and dig deeper here and see what we can find. For, for the energy of cancer. Digging deeper now, let's go into the world energy. See what we can see here with the world. Let's put these energies off to the side and see what we can find as we dig down, dig deeper into this situation. Now, the tripod is going to move a little bit. I hope that doesn't bother you too much. Um, I hope that doesn't bother you too much. Um, I, I get kind of excited in these readings and sometimes I can bump the cords and I can move the tripod just a little bit. All right. <clears throat> World energy, going deeper into the world energy. Five of swords. Eight of wands. Nine of cups. Let's go deeper into the five of swords. Eight of swords. Moon in the reverse. Let's go deeper. Sun. Look at the sun and moon put together. Sun is in reverse. I mean, the moon is in reverse. Sun is in the upright. So there's some kind of situation that you're moving yourself out of cancer. Um, this, the, the five of swords is a, is a dip, is a more of the, I think, well, I am Aquarius. So I, and I am Aquarius a lot in my chart. So I can live in the five of swords. And so maybe that's why it impacts me the most. Cancer, you might get impacted by the Five of Cups most, but for me, the Five of Swords is hard. And it's hard because it can cause real confusion. It can create guilt within you. It can create a sense of self-centeredness. Um, you could really question the decisions that you're making with the Five of Swords. And that's because people question you. People judge you. People see you. They judge you. Um, they argue with you. They they influence you in, in certain ways. And usually with the Five of Swords, it's you saying, uh, look, I need to make changes in my life. I have decided to do this, or I've decided to do that, 
or I have decided to believe this, or I have decided to express what I believe. I have decided to ex express my understanding, right? And, and what brings me strength and what brings me guidance in my life. And because it's, it's something that you're thinking, it's something that you have an understanding about. It's something that you're making a decision about. This is all mindful kind of energy. And when we do that, there are people around us who push back. They push back with expressions that can lead us in, con, into confusion, cancer. So, um, they can sometimes make us feel guilty that we are doing something for ourselves or they, we could, think, well, you know, I really need to do this. My heart's really saying I need to do something different. I'm really exhausted. Um, this relationship is depleting me or this job is depleting me. But if I leave this relationship or if I leave this job, this person is going to be lost without me. What are they going to do without me? I mean, basically, I'm shouldering the load here. I'm caught up in this situation that um, for one reason, I don't know. For one thing, I don't really know how to get out of this. And the second thing is, when I do get out of it, what is this person going to do without me? Or what is this group of people going to be doing without me? I'm leaving them all in a, in a rut. I, I'm, I'm being a burden to them if I change what I'm doing. And if I, um, voice my opinions or if I share my understandings, that might be different from theirs. And so there is a real guilt and shame kind of feeling that goes with the five of swords. But this is a feeling that, um, it, 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 it can permeate your thought systems for a couple of days. And then when it fades away, there is a real joyfulness. There, there comes a real understanding that what you have done to free yourself and to bring yourself into a place of uniqueness and into a place of empowerment where you feel your truth now, um, and not only within yourself, but moving out into your external world, you're feeling that truth now begin to permeate yourself and it feels good. It feels right. You start living in a different way. And so those feelings of guilt and shame do wash away and they are something that plays with the mind with the five of swords. You do see the eight of swords right on top of the five of swords. This is playing with the mind. This is not only playing with mind. Sometimes it can be a, a real situation that we're in. It just depends on what you're going through, Cancer. But um, the Eight of Swords talks about entrapment, a feeling of hopelessness, a feeling of helplessness, a feeling of not really knowing how to get out of a situation. And sometimes it's not even knowing that you're in the situation. Sometimes your mindset is so um, is cycling in a pattern that is undetectable. And only after you're forced to fight for yourself in a certain way, you're put up against a wall or you're put in a corner and you're forced to fight. Only after that situation do you see how it could be different. Sometimes when we're in the Eight of Swords, it's hard to even see that we're in the Eight of Swords. Are you trapped in a certain way of thinking that's actually hurtful to you? Because you're beautiful. You're priceless. You're so valuable. You have such innate qualities in you. You have such beautiful natural abilities in you. Each and every one of us has something that's incredibly talented, that we're incredibly talented in. And when we think that we are less than, when we're afraid of leaving a certain situation because we're afraid that the next situation might be worse than this situation, it can really lead, lead us um, into a, a, a prison of, of sorts, a prison of the mind, a prison of reality. So it is the cycling of thoughts. And um, when we begin to realize that we're not in a healthy situation, that perhaps we have been um, influenced to think a certain way that is wrong, then we stand up with the five of swords and we express ourselves. We share our understanding. We demand for ourselves what others may call selfish what others may call self-centered because they don't want to change because they're reaping some sort of a reward. Five of swords. It's a fight that doesn't feel good, but it's necessary to find the sun and to step into the new world. So we see here with the five of swords connected into this new beginning um, that there is something that is coming to light now with the Five of Swords. Something is being confessed. Something is being brought for forward that was hidden. So I think for this group of Cancer, you could be coming forward with saying something that has needed to be said for a long time, whether it's to a loved one, to a supervisor, 
to a community member, to someone in your religious organization, you're voicing something now that you have just realized has been hurting you or has been trapping you or has been keeping you in a situation that is a, in a diminished place for yourself. Right? So this is something that's coming out, coming out, whether you're bringing this forward or someone else is saying this. It's something that is showing up. It's no longer in the darkness now. It is now come to light. The light is shining on it. And what has been swept under the carpet or put into a corner or hidden in a closet or put into a box, maybe Pandora's, is now coming to light. And for some reason and because of something that is working in your behalf, you are seeing now how you can move out of this situation and you are seeing now how you could be thinking differently about this and it's creating this conflict. It's, it's really a battle that's not a very big one in the scheme of things. It just is very annoying and difficult in the moment. Three days from now or three days from this conflict, it will begin to feel good. But in the moment of the five of swords, it can be very difficult. What's on the other side of this is a brand new day, a brand new dawn, empowerment, inspiration, healing, revitalization, feeling damn good, my friends, bounty, abundance, whatever the words are that you've written in your notebook about your goals for the future whatever your words are that have been in your prayers and your deepest dreams, the sun can shine the light on them and bring them into your reality through this kind of behavior that is very difficult in the moment, but so very valuable on the freedom path. Let's go into the Eight of Wands now and see what the Eight of Wands has to say about the world energy. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. Hanged Man. Connected to the Five of Swords as well, isn't it? Seven of Wands. So there's going to be a lot of communication in this Five of Swords. This is about communicating. This is about expression. And this is about the passion just like this passion. So this is what is being emulated to you. The passion that you hear in my voice, the strength and the passion that you hear in my voice is the same kind of tone that you might be using in the five of swords. It's using energy from the core and from the heart system, not so much from the mind, even though it's the five of swords, you're going to be speaking from the heart. You're going to be speaking from the energy center, the core of the body. It is where your gas tank is, where your fuel is kept in the core. And the mind and the thoughts and the understandings are going to be filling that gas tank up with fuel. And when that gas tank is filled with fuel, you'll be able to speak. You'll be able to express yourself. You'll be able to put words to how you're feeling and send those out into the ethers so they can be received by who needs to receive them. That is how energy travels. That is what the eight of wands really means. It's the traveling of energy from one heart center, from one passion center, and to be received by another passion center, where it, whether it is a romantic situation, a work situation, a community connection, whatever it is. It's a transfer of energy and it is in self-advocacy, self-protection, self-defense. And there is a perspective here that needs to be communicated, a perspective that is being communicated. Let's look at the nine of cups because that's a beautiful energy. Let's go into the nine of cups just a little bit. And then we'll move to this ace of swords. Moon, you have something to say. You have some, a dream here, wheel of fortune. You're ready to begin. You're ready to start this. You're ready to begin. You have taken the time 
right? You have taken the time to really get into the energy and into the self-awareness of what is going to bring you joy, enjoyment, happiness, fulfillment in life, a full heart, an inspired heart, a liveliness of, of living, of a living adventure with the nine of cups. Living with your heart full. Sometimes our stomach is empty, but our heart's full. <laughs> the moon energy here that tells me there's something here um, that is coming to light. And you could have a little bit of fear around this with the moon. Could have been something that you might have been suppressing. You might have been hiding this. But for some reason now, there's new, there's momentum. The wheel is here. So time is moving forward. The situation is moving forward. Remember, it's a wheel of fortune. Here's the pinnacle right here. So usually it's going to create more stability for you, but you might have to travel a little bit to get there, right? We're not sure how far the wheel has to turn, but it will take you into this new stability um, with the pinnacle, some new improvement here. We have the two of pentacles here, so it, it, may, it may take you a little bit of time to really um, figure out like how you're going to actually make this work. Figure out how you're actually going to say this, how you're actually going to, going to communicate. What's the strategy? What will come first? Who will you communicate to? Who will you start this journey with? Who will you engage with and why will you engage with them? Truly, it is how will you make this happen? What what methods will you use? And you might be creating lists and, you know, whatever you're doing to to end the situation and start something new, you're, you're being organized about it. This is having an organization around it, an energy of organization, an energy of, um, you know, tracking and list making and 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 prioritization with the two of pentacles all right let's see um let's see what this ace of swords has within it going into the ace of swords now going into the ace of swords let's see what's here with the ace of swords high priestess Page of Wands. Five of Cups. All right, let's go down. Let's let's go into the, the um, High Priestess. Now, she's in reverse. So you might be coming out of a period of ex, um, a reclusion. You might be, um, you, you might have been in a period of really digging deep within yourself, looking for answers, um, connecting in in prayer to your higher to your to your religious system and what brings you guidance um, you you could have been in a very quiet very intense place in your life where you were really finding answers for yourself and now you're moving now you're moving out into a mo more public way where you could be speaking you could be engaging with people you could be sharing your truth you could be um, coming out with an announcement or something here so there could be some sort of an announcement whether this is a re religious situation whether it's a romantic situation whether it's a in the community or your workplace again this energy can wrap around almost anything that we're experiencing the energies will be here that's how you will tell like if this will fit over your story what does the knight of wands yep knight of wands what does a high priestess have to say here, higher font now we have the high priestess and the higher font so this has already happened within you, Cancer. There has been a change that's happened within you. And now you're moving out, moving this change out into your real world. So you are starting to make decisions. You are you are stating your truth. Um, you're move, moving forward with some kind of a strategy or a plan um, here that you have already developed within yourself. So you already have this security and confidence from within and now you're creating change or you're you're bringing this forward to the people around you to the workplace or to the family or to the community in some way even to the world in some way if, if you have a world influence all right so this high priestess energy you know i mean 
I, I think it's you. I think this energy is you. It could be someone else, and that's for you to kind of decide. But you're moving forward very passionately into something with the Knight of Wands. So there's passion here. There's chemistry here. There's excitement. There's spontaneity. Spontane there's spontaneity, you're making fa a fast decision to move in, you're ready to go, and you're really charging into something, right? You're ready to go, you're fueled up. Just like we said, those thoughts and those beliefs from the Ace of Swords here has filled your fuel tank, and now you're ready to t take action. You're stepping on the gas, right? Your foot's no longer on the brake. You're on the gas pedal, and you're, and you're pushing down, and you're spinning out, right? You're spinning out. That's what my brothers always say anyway, spinning out. Um, the higher font is here. So this is telling me that you're moving this out into your outer environment with a higher font. Now the higher font is um, the, the structures in society, whether they're religious structures, educational structures, governmental structures, um, whatever they are, there, there is systems and guidelines that we follow that create um, stability within a society. Um, lots of times religion does this, governments can do this, Large companies can even do this if you're thinking about like Apple or Google or, or something like that. They can create structures in society as well. Um, so you're moving your, your truth, this relationship or this new job or this new idea or this new um, project that you have. You're moving it forward and you're bringing it out into the community in some way or in the workforce some way. And it's fitting in with some sort of structure. So you're kind of meshing it in with the community or with the workplace. You're meshing it, you're fitting it in, and it's starting to kind of slide into the rules and regulations that are around you. Um, you are adding structure to this. You're actually, you're adding structure to the truth, right? It's, it's having a sense of reality about it. It might need to change a little bit. It might be tweaked here and there just a little bit, um, but, but you have, you are moving forward with this passion now, Cancer. And I, I think that nothing really can stop you. The Knight of Wands is a very kind of ferocious energy. Um, that is, that is, that can really move through fear where the, the Knight of Cups could be a little bit more shy and the Nine of Pentacles really wants to see the stability. The Nine of Wands can move into any kind of situation without really a need for the stability. Sure, they want the stability and they're going to move forward and get it, but they can actually move forward with that without the stability. That's what the, that's what the Knight of Wands does. And that's why I don't know where we would be as a society or as a people without the energy of the Knight of Wands, because it pushes us forward, almost like the Knight of Swords pushes us forward through density, through blockages, through fear, through the naysayers, through the red tape, through the bureaucracy, right? Through the government rules from border of lands to other borders of lands through countries you know it can it can permeate and create change this powerful knight of wands now it's not a long lasting energy this energy will will come to will fizzle out and this knight of wands um you might you will then need to refresh yourself you will need to rest you'll need to eat good food and um, maybe take some time to yourself and then you might even go back out and do it again over and over again uh, but the knight of wands is an energy that can get bored quickly so just prepared for this energy just be prepared cancer for this energy to change and maybe go back into a more normal energy for you but while we're in the knight of wands energy it's really good to take advantage of it um, especially for a water a water sign to be in a fire energy is something that's really rare um, but it's something that can be super impactful in the in the in the world around you because when you add um fire and water they're complementary or they're they're counterpart energies and they can be quite ferocious when these energies are put together they can really accomplish uh, because they're they're more of counterpart energies when you move forward with passion and excitement and chemistry and you have this um, and, and you have this love within you this inspiring energy within you the compassion for others within you that those energies of compassion and love mixed with uh, passion and excitement uh, uh, really can break barriers. They can break the barrier of sound um, with with the the strength that that can come from these two elements that are put together. Um, so it does look like the the high priestess is 
um, going to be moving from within and begin to express herself and create structure from around whatever this truth is. Um, this is something that's very soul. There, there is a soul connection here for this group of cancers. So this something, this could be something that heals a soul that comes from the soul. That's a soul mate or a soul path. It goes deep within you, cancer, deep, deep down within you. It's a part of who you have been for such a very long time. It's a nostalgia feeling. It's a family feeling. It's an old friend kind of feeling, right? It's a brother and sister kind of feeling. Um, it's, it's something that almost in a way runs in the blood and is a part of who you are. So it's going to be very satisfying, this energy and this truth, whatever this, this decision or whatever this is, it's going to be very satisfying. It's going to feel, feel healing. It's going to feel good to you in the heart center, right? The mind might be tired, but the heart is energized. Right. The mind might be tired, but the heart is energized. Now we do have uh, two counterparts here. Um, and that's pretty special when, when the cars come out that way. So there could be partnership here. There could be lovers here. There could be church leaders here. Um, two people that have opposite personalities and opposite skills that when they work together, they are very successful and very powerful because they really complement each other. These two energies. All right, let's move into what this Page of Wands is really quick. Page of Wands. Five of Wands. See, there is that five energy that we that we um, saw with the world energy, Empress. So, Cancer, there is some sort of connected to the Page of Wands. There's something that you're stepping through, um, whether it's people who are judging you or um, regulations that you need to move through, that you need to follow, or um, competition that you're working to overcome. Um, it could even be inner dialogue that one day you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to do that anymore. I just... I don't know if, if I can, if I can pull that off. And the next day you feel like you can pull it off and you kind of work towards it. There could be inner dialogue that's conflicting. Could be the feminine energy conflicting with the, the masculine energy. The feminine energy is the energy of rest and quiet, energy of nurturing, the energy of understanding and, and belief and, um, what you, what you, you believe in your identity, um, how you form your thoughts and how you form um, your, your knowings or your belief system. The, the masculine energy is how to do it, how to create it, setting forward, taking action, making decisions, um, building, designing, flowing, performing. So that would be more of a masculine energy. So you're in this very empowered feminine energy and you're starting to feel much better about this, um, it's some sort of a conflict or some sort of a challenge that's around you. Um, it's not feeling like that much of a challenge anymore, right? It, it really isn't feeling like that much of a challenge anymore because you have figured out here what this truth is. You figured out what your plan is, what your strategy is. So you're feeling much better. You're feeling more energized. It's almost like the gate has opened and the race is on, right? Nevertheless, there is some sadness here. That's something that you're doing. Um, there, there is some sadness here at what is being left behind. Um, but with the page of wands here, um, I think that, that you're ready now to let the past be something that you release, um, in, into your stream or into the earth. You're releasing it. You're moving forward from it. Um, but it does mean that you do feel something here with the five of cups. Remember what I said, the five of cups for you, cancer, might be much more difficult than the five of swords or the five of wands because it can really pull at you. It could create men, uh, emotional instability within you where you could have ir irritable moods or um, some flashes of depression or, or great sadness that you process from within. But whatever this truth is, it is moving you forward in a direction where you will be leaving um, maybe belief systems or people or um, hobbies that you have or different work performances that you've been really participating in the past. You are leaving something behind here. And it is it does create um, some emotional pain for you with the five of cups. Here's another five. So now we've had three fives so far. Fives are the energy of change and they're uncomfortable. If we have a lot of fives, it's almost to me like it feels like a slow tower, 
right? Too many fives talks about change coming in all directions and permeating through all of your, all of your life. So it's a holistic change. It's, it's a change that not only affects your work, but it affects your personal life. It affects many parts of your life or all parts of your life. All right, let's look at this fool energy. Go into the fool energy. Let's see what we have here. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Knight of Cups. So there could be an offer on the table here for you, an offer of love, perhaps. And we have the Empress energy again. There could be an offer of love, perhaps, here for you. Or it's, it's moving forward in this very loving, compassionate, kind, healing energy. So let's get started here. I'm not, I don't want to spend too long on this energy. Um, first of all, let's, let's dig into this Knight of Cups and see if we can get more information about the Knight of Cups. Is this an offer of love? Is it you moving forward? Is someone coming towards you like a Pisces? Well, this could be your energy as well with cancer, um, a Pisces, cancer, cancer, Scorpio kind of energy is someone coming towards you with some sort of offer of some kind or some sort of invitation or maybe even an introduction here with the fool energy. Or is this new work or a new inspired way of thinking or a new inspired way of um, telecommuting of some kind or, or there's some kind of change here and it does move forward in an energy of love. Um, so let's go ahead and look into this energy of love. I feel like there's something here in the seven of pentacles to look into as well. This is too many. Well, I just feel like it's just too many. Knight of cups, please. Justice could be Libra. Four of wands. So there is, uh, there, there is movement forward that feels nice. It feels nice. It feels warm. It feels inspiring. Um, it, it is going to bring you, so the 11, 11 energy is here. The four of wands energy is here. The justice energy is here. So it is going to, it's, it's an energy that is moving towards you or that you're moving in. That's going to help bring you this stability in even a relationship or work or in some kind of endeavor that you're on. It's going to bring safety and security and a sense of formality to whatever you're taking action in. Um, this could be a romantic offer. This could be an engagement. This could be a work agreement. This could be um, a contract that is being signed, right? It's, it's adding stability. It's, it's giving you competence and confidence in whatever you're taking action in. And it is bringing in something more fair for you. It's something that's more fair. It's more just. It feels right. It feels good. It, it, it settles into you in a comfortable way where you don't feel this resistance. You don't feel this inner, an in, in inner step away, right? Sometimes I feel sometimes when something happens and it doesn't feel right, like I have this inner like stepping back. It doesn't really qu create that stepping back energy. It, it, it pulls you forward into it because it does feel good. It feels e equal. It feels like there's going to be an equal exchange here. Um, so, so that's quite beautiful, whatever that is here with this fool energy. Now let's go into the seven of pentacles because I feel there's something here to be looked into. It does, it does seem like you're at the end of an experience that has been long and tedious and you're taking um, strides now to step out of this experience into something new. And sometimes it can take some time to get rid of all of these wands, these 10 of wands. It can take some time. Um, each wand can take time. Each wand could take a different set of, a different plan, a different strategy. It could impact different people, right? So you could have a couple of wands here with work. You could have some with home. You could have some that you do in the community with nonprofit work. You could have some in your religious system. And you're, you're really saying like, I have too many. There's too much. There's too much on my plate. There is too much on my shoulders. I have to get rid of some things. 
what am I going to do? I'm going to have to talk to her and I'm going to have to talk to him and I'm going to kind of have to come up with a solution over here because I can't keep doing this. I'm going to get sick. I'm going to get bitter. I'm going to become an unpleasant human being. I, I'm just not going to enjoy my life anymore if I keep it up at this. So there's people I need to talk to. There's plans I need to come up with. It, the Ten of Wands is a busy energy. There is Sometimes there is quite a lot to do with the Ten of Wands. Let's look into the Seven of Pentacles now and see what we can find here. Strength energy. Hanged man. Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. So there's something you're doing here. I think you have a lot of energy for this. Um, I think you're wanting it to happen much quicker than it is because here's the Knight of Pentacles. It, there's a delay here. Um, and in this delay, you're probably learning something. You're probably changing your strategy or enhancing it or adding more elements to it. You're doing something to it with a hanged man. And there is something here that is forcing you to, to slow down or it's not letting you completely get started. So maybe you are a farmer waiting for your harvest to ripen, right? Maybe you're an investor waiting for um, the, stock, the stock market to, I don't know, go down so you can buy more, right? Because we you buy when the stock market's low and you sell when the stock market's high. So you could be waiting um, for your stocks and bonds or your accounts to do something and go low or, or something, you know, whatever it is. But you're waiting on something and you could be quite impatient with this, with the strength energy. It could be, you could be really holding back things that you really want to say. You know that you shouldn't say them. You know you shouldn't do them because it can create chaos. It doesn't really help the situation, but you want to. And if you ever in a bad mood or if somebody ever irritates you the wrong way, you know, you could be tempted to just haul off and just say what you think. And sometimes when we haul off and we say what we think, it might feel good for a minute or two. And then later you're like, shit, was that necessary? Did I have to do that? Now look what's happened. Now that I said that, will this really work? You know, the strength energy helps you to tame that beast within so that you can understand the importance of your actions and the importance of your words so that it will flow smoothly and efficiently forward. Um, the hangman is here with the strength that tells me that there is some impatience that you feel cancer. Um, this is going to move forward and it's going to move forward in a stable way with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is damn slow, but when he moves, he moves in a beautiful way, my friends. Be patient, work hard, because this Knight of Pentacles is going to come in. We see him here. But of course, he has to follow. The, see, I'm in this frustration. He has to follow the freaking hangman. Like, what the? Ah, uh, you know, it could really get to you, Cancer. And you might not be used to this kind of energy. You really might not be used to this kind of energy. It will pass. It will pass. Remember, the Empress is here. So you have this balance. You have this nurturing that you're doing. You have passion within you. You have a plan. You know where you're going and you know how to implement this. So you have this balance. You have this empowerment. Um, you're going to be able to do this. Um, this Knight of Cups is quite interesting. I, I'm really happy to see that Knight of Cups energy. Um, it's really quite beautiful, Cherry, uh, Cancer. I said Chariot. It, it does feel like there is some sort of movement here. There is some sort of movement here. We do have the Page of Pentacles. I'm not going to stay too long in this energy. I do feel like there's indications that you're beginning to see in the next week or two, in the next couple of weeks here, that show that are showing you that this, this is moving along um, in a way that's promising with the Two of Pentacles. So I think that's really good energy. Pretty exciting though, Cancer. And I can see why you're excited. I can see why you're just raring to go here. I can really see that. So my friends, I am going to move into the extended now. We're going to take this situation out a, a month or two, two months, something like that into the future to see how it continues to move forward. Um, I am going to look at the people who are around you and kind of look at um, their perspective of the cancer energy as well. So I'm going to move into that now. Thank you very much, Cancer, for being here. This was an exciting read, and it's kind of fun to be in this energy and dig deeper into situations and to see what we can pull out. So wishing you all the best. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Um, stay strong, my friends. This is a really tough period in our lives. Stay strong. And um, I'll see you back out here in YouTube in another week or so with another update for Cancer Energy. All right. Thank you.